Hello everyone, this is Trajan Caesar and welcome back to YGR Pro. I know I said last time I would play my Evil Swarm deck, but I'm still editing it. Considering the new ban list, I wanted to make a few changes to it and... Not to confuse people because YGR Pro hasn't updated its ban list yet. I decided to play one of my decks I haven't edited yet since the new updated ban list. So I'm going to be playing my Impcantation Necroz deck. I'll start with the deck profile and then play one match with this deck. I'm still experimenting a little bit and learning more on how to play this deck. I think I'll cover the Ritual Monsters first before I can cover the Incantation Monsters because the remembering the effects of all the Necroz cards is a little bit harder than remembering what each of the Incantations can do. Necroz of Decisive Armor, it's an attack boost and a glorified Night Beam. It, it destroys one set card on your opponent's side of the field. Trishula protects from targeting, and it has the same effect as regular Trishula of banishing three cards your opponent controls, like one from the field, one from the graveyard, and one from the hand. Um, we have Valkyrus, which can tribute two cards from either the hand or the field to draw two cards, so it's extra draw power. And it protects our monsters from being attacked. Then we have Gungnir, which can protect our Necroz monsters from being destroyed by battle or card effects. And it can be a spot removal. Then we run one copy of Byronic, or Brionic. Um, it's a searcher, and it actually has a really nice effect of bouncing cards that were special summoned. Then we run one Unicor, which helps us recycle our cards. Then we run Clawsless, which helps us search out our our spell cards, and it also can make the attack of whatever our opponent controls to zero. Now the Devil... They used to be called Devil Ritual, and I like that name better. The Incantation cards. We run Talisman Drake, which can special summon itself by revealing one ritual monster from the hand. I can search out any incantation when it's special summoned this way. Um, and if it's special summoned from the deck by one of the other incantation cards, you can add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand. Then we have incantation bookstone, which helps us recycle our ritual spell cards and it can be special summoned by revealing a ritual spell. Kandal does something similar by being special summoned by revealing a ritual spell card, but this one actually adds a spell card from the deck to the hand when it's special summoned from the deck. And then we have Pen Silver, which helps us recycle our ritual monsters as well as being able to special summon itself whenever it ha whenever you reveal a ritual monster from your hand. Now I don't need to explain what Ash Blossom does, so I'm running three of that. I'm running three copies of Preparation of Rites, two copies of Necroz Mirror, three copies of Necroz Kaleidoscope, three copies of Cycle, Three evenly matched, 
Now, the extra deck can be whatever it wants, so long as we have enough levels in the extra deck to effectively use Kaleidoscope. And we're running only a few Link monsters because we have cited Winter Cherries to be able to get rid of certain problematic monsters we might run into before they become a problem. Um, another neat thing is we're running Elder Entity Natis, which allows us to draw a card, I think. I remember. I'm still experimenting and learning what these cards do and how they all interact. So... But I wanted to show off this deck anyways. So if I do bad with it, you, you can forgive me for it. Oh, I... Oh, yeah, this one's the spot removal. I'm thinking of this one, I think, is the draw power. Or the searcher. Then in the side deck, just running standard Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit and Drone Lockbird and a few extra cards. I know technically I can cut one of these, and I technically should get rid of this, but... YGO Pro has not updated the ban list here, so I just wanted to show this off. Hopefully we're not waiting too long. And I always say that because usually the instant I say that, someone just clicks to accept the duel. Actually, let me just double check that I set it to duel and not, uh, or set it to match and not just duel because I did say I'd play in. Now, hopefully we're not waiting too long. Yep. <laughs> Let's see if paper covers it, and it does. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. Interesting, very interesting. We can break boards, negate effects. get our search on. Um, let's see. I guess I'll reveal cycle. We need to search a monster. And I think I'm going to Trish this guy, maybe. Is it time to Trish this guy? I know I can do it. go with something else. Uh, 
and let's trish this guy. This may be a mistake. But we'll find out. Best effect is. And I'm playing against Ghost Tricks. If only I were playing Link monsters in this deck, that I can actually summon. certainly annoying. I want you to do that. Of course. <sighs> this is so annoying.
really? Fix the raffle cart. It's not enough, but they definitely have more cards than I do, which is good because I'm going to evenly match them. <laughs> of course, of course. I don't even run Raigeki in the back. Okay, let's see if I can actually do something here. <laughs> I'm going to add... Let's see. What is the best play here? This may be it.
Gonna have to surrender. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, what can I cut? What can I cut? Let's see. Hmm. Maybe cut decisive armor for Raigeki. I need spell and trap removal. You know what? I'm gonna take out two of the incantations. Run my twin twisters. I'm gonna take out decisive armor. Run Raigeki. And let's see, I think that's all I need to do. here. And I'm going to do this play. I'll reveal that. And I'll get the ritual.
get my kaleidoscope. Let's see this play. Because I don't want to mess with your funny business, this might have been a mistake though. Of course, of course. I mean, it is a fun deck and I haven't really played against Ghost Tricks that often. In fact, I think I played against them more in real life than I played against them on YGO Pro. but I vaguely remember what they did. I know they do the annoying flip effect thing. Which is why I wish I was experimenting with a uh, <laughs> my alter guy. That way, it's like, okay, I have linked monsters which can't be flipped. Good luck. Actually, Ultra Geist are like the hardest counter to Ghost Tricks if you think about it. Because Ghost Tricks have all their trap that they need to activate, right? Get off your Ultra Geist effects. If I if that works the way I think it does. And because they're a link archetype, they can't be flipped. Okay. Let's see. 
I'll do this trick. Well, I do have this. I do have some. You gotta be kidding. Dead. I'm dead. Well, you don't lose to ghost tricks every day. Uh, let's see here. 
This video has already gone on long enough. Well, some days you win some, some days you lose some. I just need a little bit more practice with this deck, maybe change some ratios a little bit. But anyways, I hope you at least enjoyed the video. This is Trajan Caesar, signing off. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.